What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit Structure for Design 2024. So in this video, we are going to create an opening on our BIM. So last video, we have learned how to use the shaft opening. So this time, so we will be using biface or opening biface tool. Okay? So what we are going to do is I'm going to orbit my model. So we will be doing that in the 3D view. Okay, here on the 3D view. So I'm going to orbit my model by holding the shift and holding the middle button of the mouse and then moving the mouse like that. And then I'm going to tilt and then I'm going to zoom in here. So let's say, for example, I want to create an opening to this beam here. Okay, so for me to be able to do that, Although I can already do it in this view, okay, but for me to be able to do it more um, easier, so I'm going to select the beam and then after that from the view panel, so I'm going to select here selection box or I can type BX. So it isolates the selected elements in the current view. So let me click this and there you go. So it's now isolated. Okay, so I'm going to select the front on my view cube and then I'll just click outside. All right, so that's now my uh, beam. So this is where I want to create my opening. Okay, so now from the opening panel, I'm going to select by face or opening by face. So let's click this one. So we are going to create the opening here. So as you can see here on my bar this one so i'm going to select a planar face of a roof or floor or ceiling or beam or column okay so opening will cut perpendicular to the selected face here okay so i'm going to select my beam here so make sure you are selecting the beam or the structural beam so I'm going to click that. There you go. So it's now selected. And then you will now see here the Modify Create Opening Boundary tab. Okay, so these are the tools that we can use to create the opening. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use a rectangle here. So let me click that. And then I can now create my opening. Okay, so for this exercise, I'll just create a rectangular like that. So it's not critical for this exercise to have the exact size. So I'm just showing you how to create an opening. But if you want to have the exact size so you can uh, change this dimension here or if you already selected modify so it will disappear. So if you want to show again the temporary dimension so you can click again one of the line and then you can see now the temporary dimension. So let's say you want 5 inches. So you can click that and then you can change that to 5 inches and then just click outside, right? So if you want to change the length, so you can click the vertical line and there you go. So you can see the 2 feet, 2 inches, so you can click that. So let's say you want like 3 feet, so I can just type 3 feet symbol and then enter. There you go. Okay, and you can also select all the lines and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard if you want to move it manually okay so if you want that to be placed at the center so you need to create uh, lines here that you can use as your guide so let's say I'm going to drag this first I'm going to drag that away I'll put it here so let's say I'm going to create a line so I'm just going to pick here from there. So this is just my guideline. So I need to remove this later on. And then I'm going to create line again. So I'll create line from there. And then select. And then move. Click. And then I'll snap at the midpoint. Okay, like that. And then make sure you delete the guidelines that you have created. Because for you to be able to successfully create your opening so it should be closed no intersection no overlapping any opening not only the uh, opening by face okay any opening even creating the profile 
when you are creating family. So make sure the boundary is closed, no intersection, no overlapping. So let me just show you what happens if this is not closed. So let's say like that. So it's not closed, right? So if I finish this one, Revit will not allow me. Okay, it Revit will not allow me to finish that. So it says here lines must be in closed loops. Okay, so make sure it's closed. Okay, and another thing. So there shouldn't be a line something like that or like this. Okay, you can't do that. So again, if you finish that, okay, so Revit says lines cannot intersect. So it should be close, no intersection, and no overlapping. So when I say overlapping, so let's say I'll just suggest again. Overlapping is overlapping. So there's a small line there overlapping another line. So you can't do that because it says highlighted lines overlap. So lines may not form closed loops. Okay, so even if you finish that one, check. So you can't finish that. Okay, so let's select that and then delete. All right, so after you create the boundary of your opening, just finish it and that's it. So you just created the opening of your beam. Now, if you want to strengthen the opening of your uh, beam, so you can put a stiffener. Okay, so let me just go back again to the front. Now, stiffener is a component family that is loaded in this project. So from the architect, uh, from the structure tab, you can click the component here. You can select place a component. And then from the type selector, so let's look for linear stiffener plate family. So I'm going to select standard. There you go. And let's say I want to change the D dimension here. So let's say I want this to be uh, 2 inches. So t 2 inches and then I apply. There you go. And then I'll just create one here. For example, here. Another one here. And then from here to here. And then, of course, I need to select this. And then I'm, go I'm going to move that here. There you go. So in 3D view, so this is now how it looks like. Okay. All right. So that's it for this simple exercise. So I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.